The flash fill is part of the autofill feature and if you recall in the previous training video the autofill basically means if you want to copy a cell or range of cells after you select it hover over the lower right hand corner over that green square until you can see the black cross then you can just click and drag and it automatically copies over the contents therein or you can also select a range of cells that contain like months or numbers that you can click and drag it to create a series that Excel can pick up on and go okay you're doing the months of January February I know what comes next if you use the autofill on those first two months or even you could probably try just one month Jan hit enter select Jan click and drag down hey it knows how to automatically fill in the series well again the flash fill is part of the autofill feature and to use it you need to be next to a column of data that you want to change or actually even several columns away as long as it's within the same database range so for example I've got my databases here and in order to use the flash field in this example I want to be able to bring over the last name comma space first name and not the middle initial so if I go ahead and do it manually without the flash field I'd have to type it in every cell and that can be annoying but to use flash field I gotta do a little work I gotta give flash field something to work off of or a pattern so it knows not to include the middle initial in the middle column here so first I'll go ahead and type in last name clinger comma max hit enter and then continue with Apple mint oh you see that flash field automatically kicked in because by default it's turned on so what it does is it says hey I can figure this out I'll give you a preview of what's gonna happen if you hit the enter key on the keyboard so you don't have to keep typing everybody's last name comma first well actually it didn't give me the pattern I want and you want to double check this because when you look at it I've got Appleman Bob this one says Appleman Ob that's not gonna work and then down below Wiggum's Lancy supposed to be Clancy so the pattern that it's trying to figure out is by looking over in the middle initial column and if it sees nothing there for some reason it omits the first letter in the first name and that's not gonna work so to overcome this just keep typing the way you want it so it'll be Apple man comma Bob hit enter and then let's go ahead and give it another one so we have three in this pattern that hopefully will figure out exactly what we're looking for sim oh, okay there we go I think it figured it out so now that we include a B for Bob it's not gonna omit the first letter in the first name like it also did for Wiggum's Lancy but now it's Clancy so if you like what you see here and the patterns correct just go ahead and hit enter hey wasn't that fast especially if you had over a hundred thousand rows in any case we've got it there for the flash fill and you'll notice that you got the flash fill options when you click on the drop down arrow you can undo it accept suggestion and or select all eight changes so you know the changes that have been made if you want to keep track of it I'm gonna go ahead and click off now if the flash fill isn't turned on or you want to turn it off so it doesn't automatically keep doing this to you then come up here click on the file tab go backstage down to options select advanced and it's right there go ahead and check it or uncheck it automatically flash fill and I'm gonna click cancel now the next example is I want to be able to get the first name so if I type in max hit enter then Bob oh, there we go hit enter hey that worked great and then if I come over here for the last name clinger hit enter Apple ooh fancy hit enter now I think it figures it out because when you type it in it's looking at the delimiter the space in between the first name and last name and a delimiter is a character used to be able to separate your data and so it looks like it's looking at that to be able to extract it and not also include the space that delimiter in between the first and last name and then finally we've got the phone now flash field has numerous uses I'm showing you just the basics to give you an idea of what it can do and in this next example I want to be able to put the phone number into a mask in other words I want to be able to put parentheses around the first three digits and then have dashes after the next three digits but before the last four so if I go open parentheses 515 again I'm typing everything I see over to the left hand side but just trying to establish a pattern so flash field can pick up on it and I don't have to keep typing it in and then I'll type in the same number that I see there 548-4478 hit enter let's go ahead and do it one more time to see if it can pick up oh I just typed in the first parentheses and it says I got it oh what a good student he knows the answer and looking at it down below in the preview it looks great so hit enter fabulous and if I just increase your productivity send two dollars to happy dude that's me one last thing if it's not working for you but you have it turned on and it's not for some reason picking up on your pattern 
I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we have the first three to establish the pattern. I'm just going to go ahead and click in the cell below the top three. You can go ahead and hold down the control key and hit the letter E key on the keyboard. And that's a shortcut for flash fill to take a look at what you got up above and what's over to the left hand side and fill in the rest with the pattern. And if you don't like it, click on its options and say undo it or you can delete it. Let's go ahead and undo that. Or you can come up here and click on the data tab, go to the data tools group and it's there as well. And you can see in the pop-up it says Control e the shortcut keys to automatically fill in values. And it says enter a couple of examples you want as output and keep the active cell in the column you want filled in. So go ahead and click on that, fills it in. Beautiful. And then one more option that you can use. Let's go ahead and delete this again. And select the range and then hover over the lower right hand corner to click and drag it down. That's the autofill, but you get the autofill options. Click on the drop down arrow and convert it to flash fill. And hey, that looks good too. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.